alone. Um, we tend to work with other filmmakers, other directors, and sometimes other producers as well. So most of our films are co-productions of one sort or another. Um, many of them are UK only co-productions. So there are other very small companies um, that have particular skills and have access to particular um, types of connections or funding. Um, so I'll address that. Um, basically, we raise money by hook or by crook. So we have, um, we've had grant money, we've had private investment, we've had um, uh, sort of m money from foundations, which is kind of like grant money. We've had um, broadcaster commission money. And there, there's something called Creative Europe, which is a kind of a Europe-wide scheme for helping productions to either get underway or to possibly complete. And we approach all of those um, possibilities for funding. Uh, uh, also, of course, crowdfunding. I'm not a I'm not a particular fan of crowdfunding unless I think the project. There's no straight formula for us, really, because we can't. In in the UK, there was a, what used to happen a long time ago was that you would go to a broadcaster and say, I, I want to do this film. They go, Yeah, it's a great film. Here's the money, and they would commission you, and they would own the film. Um, and there was a change in the law. It was, it was quite a big thing, really, such that the independent producers were allowed to keep the rights to their film, so that if we made a film for BBC, they would have the rights in the UK, but we would keep the international rights, and that meant that we could then sell the film in other territories and recoup some of the costs of making the film. The downside of that, of course, is that we were, we were no longer being fully commissioned by BBC, so the need to sell to other territories was not a luxury, but a necessity. So it, it's a more complicated scenario now, but it, it's more flexible. 